Thanks for tuning in to Red Belt Radio. The following episode is scheduled for one fall. I'm Jason, and this show is dedicated to world wonder ring stardom. Today, I'm covering some of the massive updates, statements, and reports from the past week, particularly ones dealing with stardom wrestlers who have officially declared their intention to either leave or remain in the company. Additionally, I will be talking about wrestlers who will almost certainly be staying with stardom for the next two months, if not longer. Links to much of the information I'm going over can be found in the description below. The month of March will be a fascinating one, as we will not only see the departure of stardom superstar Julia, we will not only see the reaction of her fellow wrestlers to said departure, but we will also see the booking decisions of this year's unique take on the 2024 Cinderella Tournament. All of these things have the potential to clue us in on who intends to leave because they're unhappy with stardom and who the company has in mind for helping to forge its future. If you find these transmissions valuable, please give this a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. We have to begin with Julia. Unsurprisingly, as a February 26th article in Tokyo Sports made her upcoming separation from World Wonder Ring Stardom official. On February 27th, Julia posted the English phrase, free as a bird, on social media, personally acknowledging the fact that her time in stardom is growing very short. Stay focused on Julia's upcoming defense of the New Japan Strong women's title against Stephanie Vaquer on March 10th as the odds are stacked fairly high against Julia in that match. On February 29th, both Tokyo Sports and Pro Wrestling Today unveiled World of Stardom champion Micah's official statement that her mission is to protect stardom and that she doesn't plan on going anywhere. Following the February 29th announcement of Stardom American Dream 2024, which is the first stardom show in the United States in about five years, we will talk about this in a moment, a Wrestling Observer newsletter report was summarized by Wrestle Purists, disclosing the intention of both Mina Shirakawa of EXV and Azumi of Queen's Quest to renew their agreements with stardom and continue wrestling under its banner. This report is strongly backed by the series of announcements made for the various events taking place in the month of April. We need to go over these shows because they also point out to us a number of wrestlers who will continue wrestling for stardom at least into the month of April. Crucially, we have been told that seven wrestlers are currently lined up for Stardom American Dream on April 4th. Those wrestlers are Mayu Iwatani of Stars, Momo Kogo, also of Stars, Shuri of God's Eye, Momo Watanabe of Oedo Tai, Starlight's Kid, also of Oedo Tai, Mina Shirakawa of EXV, and Azumi of Queen's Quest. There were many questions circulating that had to do with what other wrestlers might have had their contracts expiring around the same time that Julia's contract was. We now know that none of these seven are in that boat, or that some number of them are signing new contracts rather than leaving. On top of this show, Spark Trailblaze will feature Mayu Iwatani, Mina Shirakawa, and Starlight Kid on April 7th, 
and New Japan's Windy City Riot will feature Mina Shirakawa and Azumi on April 12th. To break all of this down into clearer pieces, we have Julia leaving sometime this month. Micah, Mina Shirakawa, and Azumi all staying with stardom long term. And then Shuri, Mayu Iwatani, Momo Watanabe, Starlight Kid, and Momo Kogo all staying with stardom at least into the month of April. Keep in mind that Starlight Kid in particular went from a cold 2023, including an abysmal 2-7 and seven record in last year's 5-star Grand Prix, to being the first person to challenge for the white belt in 2024, and now is a featured wrestler in not one but two shows overseas during WrestleMania weekend. Look for SLK to continue being pushed this year, as she has a strong chance of sticking around for an extended period of time in stardom. Please keep your eyes peeled for other event announcements and certainly don't overlook the positioning and results of the upcoming Cinderella tournament because we're getting close to that consequential event. What have you noticed this week that might impact the fate of Stardom's 2024 roster? Don't hesitate to contribute any of your hunches or observations. If you found this transmission valuable, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. Thanks for listening to Red Belt Radio.